What do you really like about living in Barcelona? I love the food here, the culture. I love how warm it is in Barcelona, especially how warm the people are as well. And yeah, I think that living in Barcelona has really like been a great improvement in my life. I think that it's similar to California in different ways, but it's also different. Since it is Europe, the quality of life I feel like is better overall. But it's very similar to California and also like Barcelona is like a beach city. So you get a little bit of the city, you get a little bit of the beach. There's also the forest nearby. So I feel like it's a great place for like a well-rounded way of living. I like um, how close the culture is to Latin America, but especially in Brazil. Like I have a partner that is, is from Spain and we realize like in an everyday life that we have so much in common, even more than other Latin countries. Brazil and Spain have lots of things in common, sayings and like food. I don't know, like we have a lot in common. Also, the food here has taste. <laughs> and um, when it's cold, it's not freezing cold. The weather is great. We have beach, we have the mountain, we have the city, we have art, we have a bit of everything that is good in life. So people here treat you with respect. I feel at home here. Mostly that. Well, in my opinion, the, the best things about living in Barcelona is that this Barcelona is a very big city, like full of people, full of international people. Um, it's very easy to, to make new friends. Uh, it's very easy to find new things to do. Uh, like there's always uh, many events going on, many different things to, to try. Yeah, it's a very lively city. The weather, the beaches, uh, people always out. When you wake up in the morning, people are already out. You know, when you go home in the evening, there's still people out. <laughs> That's what I love most. And the parks, of course, all these nice things uh, to see. Everything? That's one word, but <laughs> everything about the city is, is amazing. I just love the, like I keep saying, the, the food, the culture, the, the people, the weather. Uh, the fact that you have the Mediterranean Sea right here. Um, <clears throat> public transportation is phenomenal. Um, you have a lot of cultural things to see and do. You have a lot of museums. Um, obviously, you know, being an architect, uh, um, this is a great city for me because there's a lot of incredible architecture, a lot of incredible art museums. Um, so if you want to experience a lot of things, if you want a sort of like big city if you want things that you can see and do in a big city, but in like a smaller city form, then I think Barcelona is the city for you. Well, um, in Europe, there's not many places uh, where you can find a city where they have um, everything, especially a uh, destination uh, with the sea, seaside, hills, uh, cosmopolitan city, multicultural with a, a great architecture where you can do a lot of things and a perfect location for um, to meet expats and um, I'm not saying to have a very good business but a perfect location to have a good life. So for me living in Barcelona I like the weather, I like the culture and a lot of people might complain about this but I really like the metro system and the train system. What do you like about the weather? specifically the weather i like it like it's cold uh, it's windy it's nice it's chill it's like what do you call it mellow for example if you see today's weather it's sunny it's a bit warm if you go under the sun but if you're in the shade it's like nice and cold and the breeze like feels good my favorite thing about barcelona is catalan culture since i'm Catalan bilingual um, and also Barcelona is very international so I get the best of both both worlds basically because um, I can be I can be um, a part of my culture while I'm, I'm in con in contact with the outside world too so um, so it's um, it's a great mix it's a perfect mix for me to be honest also the weather of course and the fact that Many things happen all the time in Barcelona and you get to meet tons of different people from many different places. Right. How much time have we got? No, I'm joking. So the city takes a lot of boxes. Um, it is big enough to offer 
a lot of a wide range of cultural activities. There's restaurants, bars, there is nightlife, um, but it's also small enough to not get lost in it. Also, you don't need two hours to cross it when you have to go from A to B. It's not this huge maze, so it's a manageable size. Um, we have to see big plus and then you also have the mountains to hike or ski in in close proximity so that makes it fantastic to live in um, what else do I like about it the culture is very friendly I think it's a friendly city um, the different barrios some of them are still quite authentic and very different so yeah it um, offers a big variety well the weather especially during summer, it's lovely. And then also the culture, the food, and the diversity of everything and everyone. So, yeah. Would you say weather here is better than in Kenya? Not really. Not really, because Kenya is a tropical place. So the winter here is just absolutely much for me but i try to manage <laughs> but kenya yes uh, the weather is is lovely ear in ear out yeah but better than poland definitely sure. most <laughs> definitely <laughs> uh what brought me to barcelona was the quality of life compared to the other places i used to live um, before barcelona i was in hong kong and before that was in London and I felt sort of the price that you spend and in terms of going out or traveling is quite high and you don't really get that much benefit. However, here the quality of life is, is number one uh, in Spain, yeah, even in Barcelona and throughout Spain, it's the quality of life that you live. What factors contribute to this quality of life? I think basically it sounds cliche, but the weather, it's always nice outside. You can tell once you walk around. There's a very mentality of being outside, whether it's grabbing a drink outside or staying outside. And people like to do things um, to, to have the weather. You've got the beach, you've got the mountains in terms of hiking. And it's basically like not everything is expensive and it's just you eat good. It's all about community with being with people. And that really contributes to the quality of life compared to sort of close metropolitan cities like from my experience, Hong Kong and London. I can highlight two things. The first one will be the public transportation. I think it's very efficient. And now that they have a part that the government covers, I think that's a good thing. Uh, and the second one will be the security sensation in the streets. I live in South America and especially in my hometown. The, you, can, you need to be very careful when you go out of the street, if you take out your cell phone or well, you need to be very aware of your belongings all the time. But here in Barcelona, you can be relaxed about that. Oh, there's many things I like about living here. Number one, the city is beautiful. It really is. I mean, I love to walk around and look up at the, the buildings. And I really, really never got used to that. Um, I like the people. Uh, the people are very nice. I found everybody to be very friendly, very helpful if they can. Uh, I think the, the quality of life is good. Uh, people care about, they don't care about money, money, money. Uh, they, you know, they, they, they take it easy for lunch. They enjoy their weekends. They have many, many holidays. Uh, it's an easier lifestyle. Healthcare is a very important thing here. Um, and this is especially true for Americans, uh, because American healthcare system is horrible. Uh, if you're under 65, I, I feel sorry for you. And if you are 65, congratulations, you made it to Medicare. But here, the quality of health care is wonderful. We can't be on the public health care because we didn't pay it. But they have very good private health care. Uh, I came here older. And when I came here, my health care was uh, $2,400 a year. That's about $200 a month. It's gone up a little bit since I since I turned 75, but you know, you, you make appointment with any doctor that you can have tests anytime, any kind of tests you need. And the quality is good. I had a knee replacement two years ago and I was in the hospital for one week and they didn't charge me anything. 
so i found that it's a very cosmopolitan city a pretty international city to say the least people from latin america from the europe from the us everybody are here and everybody feel at home being a travel freak being a outdoor freak i enjoy hikes so i get my mountains here and of course that's the beach so it has a very good mix of people as well as resources climate is the best it has a european touch and one more thing that i love about barcelona is the architecture here it is unlike other parts of europe at least that's what i have noticed from whatever i have traveled across yeah. so every uh, every building here has a character of its own and it has been maintained at least so far so i think barcelona has a lot of positive sides for example the way how people are living here uh they're very happy friendly outgoing uh basically this city offers everything like from nightlife to cultural uh entertainment everything sport activities barcelona has both the mediterranean sea and the mountains as well so it's two in one it's available everything like you can go to swim starting from late april it's still a little bit chilly that time but a lot of local people myself as well last year i went to the sea on the 1st of april so it was a cold dip but it was awesome refreshing and it's very healthy as well and also you can go hiking trekking in the mountains too which are by public transport available in 30 35 minutes so everything is very uh, well connected the public transport is amazing here we have more than 13 different kind of uh, metro system underground system lines and uh, of course train buses yeah but it's a very walkable city anyways i'm working here partly as a tour guide as well so i'm giving private walking tours and we walk everywhere and you can visit the whole city you will you just gonna feel like you're walking in a museum basically because the whole city is like a museum so like a gigantic museum there's things to see everywhere the architecture is very impressive starting from late 1900 uh so yeah antoni gaudi obviously everyone probably knows his fame and uh, mastery so yes so there's it's, almost nothing that you miss here it's almost nothing that i miss here maybe the tropical weather that i experienced in the caribbean there where it's like all year round summer that i really love however the climate is very friendly here it never goes in barcelona below 0 degrees so there's no snow in the winter here uh but because of the mediterranean sea and the humidity the wind that comes from the sea it could feel chilly and cold that makes the cold feel uh during the winter months just between december and february Well, what I really like is that I can get out of my apartment and be in this world where there's a lot of people and you can interact with people in all kinds of ways, like going into stores or people that you met before and then you run into them in the street. I like being in the streets where there's always so many people and it feels like there's life. It doesn't feel lonely. Um I like being able to go into terraces and sit down and have a coffee uh I like the weather in the summer I don't like it in the winter it's very cold uh I like uh that all of the things that I need for my everyday life are within walking distance so I can walk to the pharmacy I can walk to the uh baker and to the market and supermarket uh everything that I need is within walking distance and, and I love that I love just getting out of my house and within 30 minutes I'm um, I've done everything I needed to do I don't have to use a car Well I mean such a such a culturally rich country in general and the city talking about Barcelona it, you know has that amazing variety of culture there's there, there's always result? something to see do visit um and I think the city is more and more attracting people who are creative types and the variety of um people who are producing art and film i mean it's amazingly if you're a foodie if you love food you love eating you're interested in food it's a great place to live as well uh it's one thing that attracted us to come to come here i i love europe in general and and barcelona is one of those barcelona is one of those places that's epitomizes so much that's good about europe 
Uh, if you're somebody who likes architecture, it's one of the world's best cities for that. There's no doubt about that. I mean, I love the city because there's so many different parts to the city. Each little area has its own character. Barcelona is a big city, but it's not a, a normal city that you get lost. It's very well divided. Um, there, there are a lot of good aspects that I, I, I enjoy here. One of them is the weather. For me, the weather is very good. Even if some people, they get too hot during the summer because it's very humid. But you can go to the beach. In Barcelona, there are plenty of beaches. I know uh, some of them are very crowded and a little bit dirty, but you can enjoy playing sports in the beach, go with your friends, and you maybe take, it takes maybe 10 minutes from your house to go to the beach and also you can go to the mountain it's not that far and you can have a great view or you can do some hiking and you can do that only by living in a city you don't have to uh, get too, too complex about it it's very easy and fast also it has a lot of uh, options as activities and, and you have like uh, a lot of uh, hobbies that you can practice here I, I don't find anything that I could couldn't find here in, in Barcelona. Then I think if you are adventurous and you want to open your your box of possibilities, this is one place. Well, first of all, I like being in Spain. First of all, is the weather. I moved here to live in warm climate. I'm so tired of living in cold countries. And I really like it that the winter is not really cold, but it's still not hot. So it's kind of in the middle. You can enjoy it like an autumn or something like this. People are very open, people are very friendly. I do like learning the language. This is the perfect environment, I would say, to learn the language, to speak to the locals, to talk to also people of different nationalities. And, well, so it's quite international. Yeah, Barcelona is very international. It's another aspect, but it's more international. I, I can even say that I see less locals than international people. And also, I would say lots of, lots of people move here for the architecture. Architecture is pretty diverse and it's really nice. You can see uh, classic Renaissance buildings. You can see the modernist buildings. You can even see some of this uh, socialist architecture, which is quite surprising. And the, the, the nature, of course, uh, the nature is very diverse. You can find sea, you can go to the beach at any time, even in winter. This is really nice as well as the trees, the mountains, the amount of activities you can do here is also pretty impressive. Uh, so you can, if you have hobbies, like you can find any kind of hobby activity in here. Anything connected with the sea, of course, but also like uh, pottery, uh, art classes, music classes, dancing classes, language classes, any language school, basically. And what I find really amazing also about uh, Catalonia in general that they uh, they preserve their culture their language they teach their kids Catalan so I kind of respect uh, Catalans for this this is brave this is this requires some strengths uh, especially they don't have their own country they kind of they are part of Spain and I think it's a bit for them it's a bit insulting when people come here and they treat them like the same as Spanish people, the same as Spain. And th this is a different culture. This is not Spain. This is different.